How long does it take to become a blockchain developer? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. On this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain developer. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. And if you want real-time help becoming a blockchain developer, don't forget, Blockchain Mastery University opens on January 29th. You can click the link down below to sign up. So let's get into this. How long does it take to become a blockchain developer? And one of the reasons I'm making this video is I got this question over email in response to an article I just released about the average blockchain developer salary. In that article, I talked about the average blockchain salary being well over $150,000 per year for experienced developers and how beginning developers with zero to one years of experience can even earn six-figure salaries. So you can check out that article if you want to. I'll put a link in the video description. But after I published that, I got a question in my email inbox that I want to read to you right now. So Kyle says, I loved your video, really appreciated it. These salaries are so sexy and enticing. I need to know what kind of buy-in there is for a developer to be hired as a brand new developer to blockchain. Are people hiring these folks? Is there a year or two long journey to practicing blockchain developing unpaid before you can get paid for this? I want to take my salary and double it or triple it by becoming a blockchain dev. It's a great question, Kyle. Do I think it's possible to double or triple your income by becoming a blockchain developer? I definitely think it's possible depending on what your income was before. But let's dig into this and get an in-depth explanation so that you know you can set some realistic expectations and that other people watching uh, can benefit from this and try to set a plan together for themselves. We'll get off the hype train for a minute and be brutally honest because it's important, right? If people are trying to change their careers, they don't want to just go down a dead end. They want to have realistic expectations and that's what I want to do in this video. So first and foremost, I'll clarify, I think all this salary data is legit. I know there's some haters and skeptics out there, but I think it's totally possible for relatively new developers to earn six-figure salaries. But there's one catch. You actually have to get hired, and in order to do that, you have to have the skills to pay the bills in order for anyone to hire you. But that's one of the main reasons I created DAP University in the first place. So how long does it take to get those skills? Well, let me give you a range. I don't want to give you an exact number because there's so many factors involved. Like what's your experience level? How much free time do you have to learn in practice? You know, how much money can you spend on learning resources, et cetera, et cetera. So let me give you some ranges that are based on what I've actually seen happen in the real world. So I'll include some examples of people who became regular developers, not necessarily just blockchain, because I don't think blockchain is significantly different from other types of software development in terms of the amount of time it takes to get viable skills. It might be a little bit harder than some things, but not significantly so. So let's start with the upper end of the range. And I'll actually use myself as an example here. So I'm a self-taught programmer. I didn't get a computer science degree. I didn't go to a coding boot camp. I taught myself software development the hard way from scratch all on my own. And it took me about six months to land my first paid freelancing job after teaching myself programming from square one. And that's about as fast as anybody that I've ever met. And I've heard of other people doing it in less time, maybe like three months, but I have a feeling that they started in really beginner developer roles. And let me clarify, I'm not saying any of this to brag, I just want to use myself as an example to show you what's possible. And also, I'm not a genius or anything like that. I worked really hard during that six-month period to really make sure that I was going to get good enough to earn a job. And I did have a few key mentors along the way who were instrumental in me getting some of those early development jobs. You know, this was not a casual affair. But I do want to show you what's possible. And I think a similar type of thing is possible for someone who wants to learn blockchain programming from scratch with zero coding experience and actually get a blockchain developer job. I think a total beginner could do this realistically in six months if they worked really hard and the right doors opened. And maybe even less time, but it's probably a stretch, honestly. So that's what I would consider maybe the upper limit. All right, so your mileage may vary and it probably will. Not everybody has a ton of free time to learn on their own and not everybody just wants to learn as fast as they possibly can. So what if you wanted to take longer or what if you just wanted a really conservative estimate? Okay, then I would say double it. But if you set a year timeline for yourself, don't think you can just take your sweet time. No, I would say still learn as much as you can, as fast as you can. Just adjust your timeline for what your expectations are on when you might get hired. Because think about it, here's what has to happen. You need to learn the skills and then you need to find the work, all right? So if you take a year timeline, it might take you five to six months of just acquiring the skills to be able to build your own projects. Then you have to spend the next three, four, five months, you know, looking for work and actually landing the deal. So you got to factor all that into play. So another thing I'll say is that this year timeline seems to be a lot more realistic for people, okay? 
Uh, I remember a quote from somewhere that says, basically, people overestimate what they think they can accomplish in a day, but they underestimate what they think they can accomplish in a year. So if your goal is to become a blockchain developer in 2020, it's actually more time than you think it is, probably. And yeah, I think this timeline seems to fit the bell curve of more clo- closer to the average for people to learn the skills and actually get hired. And what you may not know is I've helped a lot of people become software developers before I started DAP University and even outside of it. I've coached a lot of people to help them uh, learn coding and also get developer jobs. And a lot of their lives have completely changed by going down this path. I get a lot of messages and texts and emails from people just saying like, hey, you know, my life's completely changed since I've done this. You know, thank you so much. So a lot of them have fit a lot closer to this one year timeline. But a lot of these people were still like working really hard. They were super diligent. They didn't slack off. All right. So honestly, I wouldn't set a goal for yourself that's much more than a year. There's another quote from somewhere that says basically, you know, work takes up the amount of time that you give it. So I wouldn't arbitrarily just set a quota for yourself of two years just because you don't think a year is long enough. Don't just give yourself permission to take up more time because if you do, it's just going to take longer and you might not even meet the two-year goal. So if you want my advice and you're thinking about taking longer than a year, just don't do it. Shoot for one year and if it takes longer than that, do you really care as long as you get there eventually? You know, I can't really think of anything that's great that's also easy. Will it be hard? Yes, it will be hard. But will it be worth it? Absolutely. What if you could earn a six-figure income? Would that be a life-changing amount of money for you? Do you really care how long it would take you to get there as long as you actually got it and sustained that for a long time? You know, some people ask this question, how long does it take to become a developer or a blockchain developer? Because they're doing some kind of cost-benefit analysis in their head. They're saying, do I really want to spend all this time just to get this result? And some of them start thinking about a year or two and they just say, nah, it's not worth it. But think about the long term. Like what if you actually got a six figure job just paying $100,000 per year and you kept it for 10 years without getting a raise? That would be a million dollars. Now ask yourself, do you really have an alternative that's going to provide you with that? I think there's a ton of opportunity to do that right now as a developer, especially in blockchain. And it's so early, there's a developer shortage that you're way more likely to earn this six-figure income as a beginner in blockchain probably than you would somewhere else. At least that's what all the data shows. And if you start now and you get really good and you stay in blockchain for the long term, you're going to have all this upward mobility. It might take a few years for you to get to that, you know, $150,000 plus salary range, but again, Who cares how long it takes you as long as you actually got there? So that's how long I think it takes to become a blockchain developer. So Kyle, hope you're watching this video. Hope you found that helpful. Hope everyone else found this helpful. So leave a comment down in the comment section below. Are you trying to become a blockchain developer? Are you setting a timeline for yourself? What is it? And if you're on that journey, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the like button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can become blockchain developers. And also don't forget, Blockchain Mastery University launches on January 29th. You need to be on my email list in order to take advantage of this special launch event. And you can join down below. There's a link. It's adapuniversity.com forward slash sign up. All right. Until next time, thanks for watching Dap University.